One of the biggest fears of new guides is the immense undertaking and pressure involved in starting a new campaign. That's why we have written adventures and especially starter kits that walk you through what to do every step of the way. But some guides aren't satisfied with that. They watch Critical Role or High Rollers and are infatuated with the idea. They can't do anything except roll their own new world from scratch. Firstly, I would say, why? Starting a brand new setting as your first game is like coaching football for the first time in the World Cup. There are written adventures, campaign settings, and even just two three hour one shots you can get off the internet. As a first time guide, I would highly recommend trying those first. A couple of one shots, maybe a published mini campaign, before you dive off the deep end. But if you're going in head first, and that's the main message of this video, don't build a world. Building a whole world when you're just starting out is like trying to write the whole of Lord of the Rings as your first writing gig. Exandria has existed for about five years and Matt Mercer is still writing it. Forgotten Realms has existed since 1967 and it's still being expanded upon. When you start in a frontier town, your first few sessions will be exactly the same if you knew the contents of the mega library's hidden archives or not. Don't put in the work you don't need for at least a couple more sessions. Most experienced guys can write a couple of ideas on a note card and walk off that for several sessions. Read the Lazy Dungeon Master for more details on that. Link in the description. As for specific advice, when you're just starting, make your first scene and know a couple of major things that are there. If you're starting in a tavern, write down a few things that make it interesting, a couple of mannerisms to use for staff and clientele, not even half a character, then make sure you know a few things about the town you're in. Is it big, small, calm, under constant siege? What major buildings it does or doesn't have? Inn, town hall, smithy, guardhouse, wizard, temple? Imagine flying yourself over it with a drone camera and think about what is immediately obvious. This shouldn't take you more than six to eight sentence long bullet points. Then think about your hook and where it's pulling the characters. Fill in those next few steps just well enough so you can riff on it. You should really have no more than three or four scenes in your first session. For example, tavern. Weird guy offers a quest. Old haunted mine supposed to contain riches, but he barely made it out alive. End of scene 1. Party goes to the mine. Maybe a forest transition to set up the local atmosphere, beautiful or ominous is dealer choice. Maybe add a little challenge to find the mine or fall into a trap. End of scene 2. In the mine there are dangers. Pick some monster that dwell in dark and dank conditions. Maybe a rotten roof support beam threatens to collapse and crush someone. Then add a twist like it was a trap all along and the weird guy shows up with some muscle because mysterious villain paid him to beat the cap out of the party. Party proceeds to vanquish the goons. Maybe add some monsters from before to throw a wrench into it. End of scene 3. Party searches gang's pockets and finds a writ of mission for a mysterious villain and goes out to follow it. End of scene 4. Epilogue. Roll credits. See you next time. And when you do this, you don't even need to know who the villain is or what they want yet. Better yet, walk off your players' speculations or the backstories they gave you, but we'll talk about that later. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Bang the notification bell if you want to know about live streams. That's it until next time, stay good, have fun.